Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab. In this lecture, we will walk you through a step-by-step -step procedure of performing vSphere storage vMotion in vSphere 8.2. Now, as we all know that in vSphere vMotion, the underlying host of your VM is getting changed, whereas in the storage vMotion, the underlying data store of that virtual machine is getting changed, whereas the host remains the same. That is the basic fundamental difference between the vSphere vMotion and storage vMotion. So now with that, let's get started and let's understand how do you perform storage vMotion in vSphere 8.0. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server having a FQDN as savcsa01.lab.local and our vCenter server is running version 8.0.1. That's the build number as you could see that. And this is what the information about the cluster created on that vCenter server, number of hosts added to that vCenter server, and total number of virtual machines which are currently running on that vCenter server. So as you could see that on the left hand side, we do have a data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse through that data center. We do see a cluster created named as SA cluster. And we do have a one standalone ESXi host named as SA ESXi01. Let's go and browse through that cluster. And we do see that we do have a two node vSphere cluster where are, there are two ESXi hosts which are actually part of this cluster. And we do have a bunch of virtual machines which are running on that cluster. Let's go and browse through our standalone ESXi host. And we do see that there are a bunch of VMs which are running on that standalone ESXi host as well. But this ESXi host is out of that cluster. It's within that SA data center. Now, this is the time for us to demonstrate you how do you perform storage vMotion in vSphere 8.2? That storage vMotion demonstration, we are going to refer virtual machine as a web 2 So that is the virtual machine what we are going to refer for this demonstration. And before we go and look at this virtual machine, let's look at the underlying host where this VM is running on. So as you could see that currently this virtual machine is running on S a ESXi 02 host and this virtual machine files as of now stored in a data store one which is actually its local data store. So if you really look at the data stores and you will see that this is the data store where this virtual machine files are stored. This data store is actually going to be the local data store. Now let's go back to that virtual machine and let's launch the console of that virtual machine. So as you could see that this is our virtual machine having an IP address 172.16.10.106. So now let's initiate some ping traffic and let's try to ping to its gateway. And as you could see that we have started ping traffic and the ping traffic is going on. So now let's go and trigger a storage vMotion. The reason we started this traffic to let you guys know that whenever we perform storage vMotion, there is no single packet getting dropped. And that's the whole idea of live migration. So now this is the time for us to migrate this virtual machine from its one data store to another data store. And for that, right click on that VM, click on migrate. And this time we are actually going to choose the option change storage only because in the previous vSphere vMotion, we have used this option where the underlying host was getting changed. Now we are going to select the second option where the underlying data store of that VM is going to change. So select the option change storage only. And now it's asking us that select the destination storage for your virtual machine migration so that you want to change the underlying data store. Tell us the destination data store where you want to change the data store of that virtual machine. And that's where we are going to use a data store named as shared data store. So this is our shared data store, which is our iSCSI bagged data store. And this is the data store where we want this VM to get migrated. So select that data store, click on next. Now here you can review the migration type where we have decided that we are actually going to select change storage only option because we are performing storage vMotion. This is the virtual machine which files going to get migrated from local data store to shared data store. Now click on finish, click on recent task pane and you will see that look at that the storage vMotion is in progress now and you could see that storage vMotion successfully completed for that virtual machine. And if you scroll down, you will see that the host of that virtual machine remains the same, but the underlying storage of that virtual machine has got changed. Now it has changed from data store one to shared 
data store if you click on data store you will see that all of the virtual machine file have been migrated from its local data store to shared data store which is a iSCSI backed storage and now let's look at the traffic as well so now let's look at the traffic as well so let's refresh the vm console and look at that the ping traffic is still going on which means there is no traffic disruption when the storage v motion happens let's press the control c and look at that zero percent packet loss zero percent packet loss means there is no packet drop happens when you perform storage v motion and that is the reason it is considered it is called as live migration so now this concludes our discussion on how do you perform storage v motion in vsphere 8.0 from the administrative standpoint you would have seen that it's pretty straightforward where you just need to define a couple of parameters and your vm magically migrated from one data store to another data store but there's a lot of things happen in the back end at the kernel level where your data mover module where your mirror modules coming into the picture tracking the the ios what is going to that virtual machine and then they have algorithm in place which actually makes sure that when your vm is getting migrated no packet drop happens and no io is getting terminated right so that's what storage v motion is all about it but now as we have keep saying that there's always a difference between two minutes of learning and two hours of learning two minutes of learning is the classic example what you have, what we have explained to you in this particular lecture where within two minutes we have explained to you what is the storage v motion but then what is happen under the hood at the architecture level at the implementation level at the algorithm level it might take minimum two hours to explain you the underlying implementation of that storage v motion so it's up to you what level of learning you want to have it from the understanding perspective as a vmware professional if you are interested in two minutes of learning feel free to watch out these kind of videos what we have keep uploading or publishing on our youtube channel if you are interested in two hours of deep dive learning then reach out to us and our team will help you assist you in the deep dive learning of this uh, storage v motion and many other uh, capabilities what vmware vsphere products provides it so now this conclude our discussion on how do you perform storage v motion in vsphere 8.0 and we have also demonstrated you how do you migrate the files of that virtual machine from one data store to another data store without having any packet loss if you have interest in learning vmware more in depth not from an administration perspective but from the architect or consulting perspective then join our vmware vsphere 0 to hero data center expert program this particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our zero to hero data center expert deep dive program with the 100 percent placement record now what are the key highlights of this program as you could see that it's a india's first job ready vmware learning program which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands-on labs 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning we do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals you would be getting opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one in person doubt clarification session with the vmware mentor and this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for l3 or senior level profiles now we have transitioned many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen these are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us so what are you waiting for if you want to become vmware expert or want to master this technology then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address thank you